YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It seems as though Meghan and Harry are about to completely lose their minds with a new revelation that Prince William and Kate will be visiting America in place of the Queen, seeing as Joe Biden has invited the Queen personally to visit him at the White House. And we know that when he met her during the G7 summit in Cornwall last weekend, he was very taken with her and he compared her to his mother. He said that the Queen reminds him of his mother. So Meghan and Harry, upon hearing about this news, according to an inside source, have basically lost their minds because they feel as though William and Kate would be stepping on their turf, their newfound American turf. And they, of course, are very resentful and jealous of William and Kate, their power, their influence, and now the fact that they have all of their titles intact in place and active and they have the love of not only the british public but also the overseas public so with all that being said the insider has basically hinted at what they feel could happen if william does in fact take up joe biden's offer in place of his grandmother and visit the united states of america this article was by The Express and it's titled Meghan and Harry poised to make more claims about the royal family if the US tour goes ahead. Meghan and Harry could make even more headline grabbing claims against the royal family if Prince William is sent on a US tour to woo Joe Biden, a royal commentator told the paper. So, following a brief spell in Canada and a few weeks in LA, they put down permanent roots in California. And of course, they're talking about Meghan and Harry here. The state where Meghan grew up and appear to have turned their focus towards their American fans ever since. What fans? That's the thing. They don't have any real American fans. They just have a bunch of people who are subjected to their rubbish day in and day out like we are over here and according to a lot of my american subscribers megan and harry don't actually receive that much press coverage or news attention out there in the united states of america and rightfully so because what have they done to really earn it the pair are no longer working members of the firm but have continually used their titles as the duke and duchess of sussex leading some to accusations of monetizing their royal links which we know wholeheartedly that that is exactly what they are doing they have also positioned themselves on the global stage megan shared a platform with former first lady michelle last year to discuss women's suffrage and she worked with harry to produce a national tv message encouraging americans to vote which did not go down very well considering she has only been back in the country for a total of five minutes she has spent over a decade living outside of america she spent seven years in canada and then a total of 18 months boarding private jets to and from the uk to various different destinations across the world before running back to canada for another six months and then going to america who is she really to tell americans about how they should conduct their political affairs but during the u.s president's successful trip to the uk last week he made a point of inviting the queen to visit him in the white house while the 95-year-old rarely undertakes overseas tours these days, she could send other senior royals such as Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, in her place in a bid to strengthen US and UK relations. And we know that that is a real possibility, seeing as William and Kate have hinted at quite a few new projects that they are about to embark on I have seen a post which they recently put up the other day and I think it says something along the lines of big things start small and I think that they have some exciting news coming up and this could very much be interlinked with this upcoming American Royal Tour. 
Kate was very much taken with Joe Biden's wife, Jill Biden, and they was getting quite close and comfortable. And I could see the admiration in Miss Biden's face as she watched Kate interact with the press. So I definitely feel as though there is an all American tour in the pipeline coming up for William and Kate. According to royal commentator Howard Hodgson, this could lead to yet another clash as the Cambridges would be stepping on the Sussex's new turf. He told Express.co.uk, the royal family are wonderful ambassadors for the UK across the world and nowhere more so than the US. Therefore, a charm offensive led by either Prince Charles or Prince William could be very helpful but he noted that there is a risk here because the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge would potentially be upstage in Meghan and Harry and he also suggested that the Sussexes might subsequently try and keep the spotlight on them in America in the event of the Cambridge tour. The commentator also continued to say this could result in an undignified scramble for media coverage and Meghan and Harry might be tempted to make even more headline grabbing claims against the royal family as a result which would be extremely counterproductive. Meghan and Harry have made a series of allegations against the firm in recent months including claims that they both felt trapped behind palace walls while the royal family have remained largely tight-lipped about these draw-dropping allegations, it's believed that the Sussexes' words have only deepened their ongoing rift with the royals. Kensington Palace declined to comment when approached by the Express on the possibility of a possible upcoming United States tour. And we know, of course, the palace does by large, even though the Queen has wavered away from this uh, precedent, stick to never explain never complains so of course they're not going to speak to the british press so soon but we know that it is a real possibility and they did hint at this last year as well and i think that it would be a very good thing i definitely feel as though it would knock harry and Meghan for six and they would be blindsided by William and Kate coming over to the United States of America and I definitely know that William and Kate would excel exceptionally at winning over the hearts of the Americans because of course they are authentic they are real and they have not put a foot wrong yet and how can they they stick to the code they have respect for the queen they have respect for the royal traditions and practices and they have pretty much been subjected to a lot of of negativity coming from the Sussex camp and the Sussex squad people who are essentially brain dead. So it continues on here, Harry and Meghan did release a statement earlier this year vowing to continue practicing public service, which they haven't. Everything has been very much self-serving. They are constantly trying to start new projects, score new businesses, make more money from other people's poverty and other people's issues which is exactly what they do so it continues on here when the palace announced that the pair would be stripped of their patronages and royal appointments after they confirmed they would not be returning to the monarchy it explained it is not possible to continue with the responsibilities and duties that come with a life of public service and the Sussexes then appeared to respond to this which was rather embarrassing and released their own statement saying we can all live a life of service service is universal <laughs> which is just a joke really because they know exactly what the palace was referring to when they said that they have now decided to embark upon self-serving projects projects that will make them very rich and wealthy and comfortable which is all good and dandy and fine but don't act like you're not doing that. Don't try and conceal it behind a veil of charity work and self-sacrificing work because it's just simply not true. So it continues on here. The Duchess of Sussex's new book, The Bench, was announced shortly before the Duchess of Cambridge's book, Hold Still, hit the shelves. And we know that Kate's Hold Still book has officially become a bestseller. So with all that being said, guys, I will be back with another video. There you have it. Meghan and Harry are flying off the handle and they're losing their minds because William and Kate are about to come to the United States of America and set the record straight. I'll be back with another video. Bye, guys.